Hello and welcome to Introduction to Comply. This is the first video in our Comply User Series and will introduce to you the layout, how to manage projects and systems within Comply, and the overall process on producing a thermal system calculation that complies. So what is Comply? Comply software enables architects and designers to calculate the thermal performance of commercial and residential construction types and construction systems to comply with the latest National Construction Code, May 2019. Comply calculates thermal bridging through the ISO Thermal Planes method referenced in Australian New Zealand Standard 4859 Part 2 and is calculated to New Zealand Standard 4214 which defines how to calculate isothermal planes. If you'd like more information on this, please contact Knauf Insulation. So if we look at our desktop, we have our tabs on the left hand side of our screen here. We have our welcome page, which is where we currently are. We have our accounts page, where we can update our personal information as required. We have our projects page, which is where we'll be spending most of our time today. The logout feature and request help. If at any time you get stuck while using Comply, click request help and confirm and a Knauf Insulation support member will contact you as soon as possible. On our projects page, we have a process that we'll be following at the top of our screen from where we currently are at projects all the way through to our final calculation. We have the name of the project we're on, the name of the user. We have a search bar where we can find projects based on keywords. We have the new project tab, which we'll be going into soon. We also have our start walkthrough feature. This is recommended for first time users of Comply as it goes into high detail of building your own construction system. So scroll down the page, you'll notice we have our list of active projects and our list of inactive projects. And each of these titles, we have each of our projects by name, address, and some more relevant information as well. To toggle a project from a active project to an inactive project, we can click the tick here. This then takes the project down to inactive. To bring a project back to active, we can click the cross and it'll appear again in our active projects. We can also edit information on each project here and we can download a PDF of the project here. So let's get started with a new project. This then takes us to our create project screen. First, we need to give our project a name. We then need to input the address of the project. Comply then determines what climate zone our project will be based on the address. So this project here is going to be in climate zone 6. We then need to define what building class our project will be. If you're not sure what it is, you can simply click this red question mark here, which will bring up a list of all the building classes in Australia. Simply read the descriptions on the right hand side and select one that best matches the project that you're constructing. As we're building an office here, class five will be the most accurate building class for us. We then click create. This then takes us to our project page. So we have the title of our project here, office 405. We have the address of the project. We have the search bar where we can use keywords to find systems that will be populated here once constructed. And we have our new system feature as well. So let's get started with constructing a new system. We now need to select what application our system is going to be used in. We have three different options. We can select from a roof, a wall, or a floor. So we're going to build a wall system. This then takes us to our templates page. We can use the search bar to find systems using keywords. You can design your own system from scratch, or you can select from a number of different predetermined templates that Comply has built within. We're going to use a timber brick veneer wall. A pop-up then appears asking whether we'd like to determine our minimum R value. This is always recommended to ensure that your system will comply with appropriate minimum standards. For our minimum R value calculator, we need to understand how many metres squared is the wall construction. We're going to keep it easy and make it 100 square metres. We need to also understand how many metres squared the window construction is and make this 10. We also need to know what is the weighted average U value of the window construction. If you're not sure what this is, you can simply click 
don't know, and Compile will provide a conservative value based on your building class and climate zone. Based on the information we've just input, Compile has determined that our minimum R value we need to achieve is an R1.4. Let's click Continue. This then takes us to our bridging calculator page. On this page, we will be selecting the framing layout that our system will be using. Our wall structure is bridged by grid-like framing as we are building with studs and noggins. You can click this image to select this layout. We now need to put some relevant information for our system. First, we need to input the height of the framing system. We then need to input the stud spacings. Then we also need to include the centers from the noggins to the top plate and the noggins to the bottom plate. And finally, we need to include the flange width, which is the front measurement of the stud. In Australia, this is commonly 35 millimeters. Then click OK. This now takes us to our calculation screen. If we look at the overall process, you'll notice we have reached the end by arriving to our calculation screen here. It's recommended to start by changing the name of the system to correlate with other construction documents. Change this to represent wall type 001. Below the title, we have the overall calculations working from outdoor air film through to indoor air film. For our pathways, we have two separate pathways. We have pathway one, which is our insulation pathway. Based on the information we input before, Compliance has determined that our system is made up of this pathway to 88.64%. We then have a 50 millimeter unventilated airspace with our building wrap. We have our 90 millimeter earth wall sound shield R2.7 insulation. And we have our internal lining, 13 millimeter master shield plasterboard. If we look at pathway number two, this is our bridging pathway. Compliance determined that this system is made up of 11.36% of the bridging pathway based on the information we input before. We then have our 50 millimeter unventilated airspace, our building wrap, our framing, which is a 90 millimeter softwood timber, through to our 13 millimeter master shield plasterboard. Below the calculation, we have the minimum R value the system needed to achieve based on the information we input earlier. We also have the total performance of our current system. This is represented in both summer and winter. Based on our climate zone, Comply determines which is the appropriate thermal calculation we need to achieve. So look at our options on the right hand side. We can show additional details. This then shows um, all the R value calculations and what each product is contributing to our, our overall system value. We can also hide that by clicking it again. We can recalculate our minimum R value and we can also save and close our system. We can now generate a PDF of this project by either selecting download PDF of this system or we can collate all of our systems and collect download all. PDF will appear. We can open this PDF. PDF gives us a thermal performance prediction with our project title, the user, title of the system, an image if a template is used, our assumptions used in calculating our minimum R value, specification notes for products, specification materials, the result of our system, the minimum R value that our system needed to achieve, and a summary of the calculation. So that's how we create a project and a system within a project using Comply. If you'd like any additional information, please contact Knauf Insulation through our website at www.knaufinsulation.com com.au or simply click the request help feature on your desktop of comply. 
Thank you for watching.